In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a software update on your LR8 ChatFusion or NovaChat device. Software updates are done or released from time to time um, and they will include new features and bug fixes. So it is important to check to see whether a software update needs to be done on your device. First thing I need to do is turn my Wi-Fi on. Now, if I can see a circle, in my bottom menu bar, then that's going to allow me to get out of the software and into the device so that I can turn my Wi-Fi on. However, you might not see this if you have kiosk mode turned on. So firstly, I need to turn my kiosk mode off. Navigate to the menu button, settings, scroll down to system. I'll see kiosk mode and I'm going to uncheck kiosk mode. My screen is now unpinned and I have a circle down the bottom in the menu bar which is going to allow me to exit the software into the main home screen of the device. From here it will function similarly to most electronic devices and you can turn your Wi-Fi on by pulling down the bar at the top. I already have my Wi-Fi connected but that is where you would go to connect. Once connected we need to navigate back into the software you may have a purple and grey icon on your screen which allow you to get back into the software, but if not, navigate to settings, scroll down so you can see Nova Chat, and this will take me back into the software. You can use your back arrow to navigate back to your icons. From here, we press the three dots and navigate to help. I can now check for updates. This is currently telling me that I'm in the middle of an update from 2.28 to 2.29, but what you will see on your screen is check now. If you're unable to press check now, press the three dots and make sure that you have ticked allow Wi-Fi download. You should then be able to go back and check now. Once your software has downloaded from your Wi-Fi, you may want to re-exit the software and turn your Wi-Fi back off, or you might want to leave it on. Remember, once you're done, if you had kiosk mode, that you will need to turn your kiosk mode back on and any menu lock settings as well. To do this, we go to the three dots, settings, scroll down to system, kiosk mode, and check. It will give you the option to lock the menu at this stage too. I'm going to choose no for now. Again, use your arrow to navigate back to your icons.